first time that I went to an event, it's really cool to sort of get a reception of, uh, you know, maybe they don't know us directly, uh, but they know stats and they know, you know, this is something that's useful to the community. I'm Spencer. I live in Boston, Massachusetts. So I work for SiegeGG. Uh, I run the statistics, uh, and we, as a group, do news and highlights and all kinds of coverage surrounding Rainbow Six Esports. So I'm an economics student. I sort of have a background with numbers and math and spreadsheets and you know, all that nerdy stuff. Originally, I was interested in uh, traditional sports and was sort of a stat head there, digging through you know, who's the best statistically and how does this player compare to that player, you know, comparing what is this team good at, you know, who's going to win next week. And so that was what sort of got me interested in that kind of thing from a young age. And then you know, I sort of got into Siege and there was nothing like that in the community. So why doesn't this exist? You know, can I make this into something that a lot of people will think is useful? I think sort of from the beginning, we knew that what we were doing could be seen as really important because there was nobody else doing it at the time. There were like a couple of people that once in a while would post like stats that they had collected on Twitter, you know, just through their own personal account. And it wouldn't be comprehensive. They wouldn't do all the games. It wouldn't be done right after the game. It would be, you know, a couple weeks later, they'd do the stats for the whole season or something. And so right away, I think we were sort of a useful sort of community figure. When we started out, it was just this tiny project that you know, none of us really thought would be what it is today. Uh, you know, it's turned into something that's really huge. You know, if you're watching a game, it's easy to sort of find a new team that you like. Uh, but I think you can also do that through looking at stats, looking at the past. Here's a number for what happened. Here's the video to prove it. And now we can tell you the story through a lens that is beyond pure emotion. Siege.gg represents a uh, place where we can um, extract information that will actually level up the viewing experience. Those kind of pieces of information add both for the commentators to be able to talk about it, add for the audience, they understand why this is such a crucial match, but also just the viewing experience of what's actually happening on the screen and sharing and making that so engaging. Everybody likes upsets, everybody likes, you know, breaking. We're like doing the impossible. Like, look at us now, we're all talking about the 1v5. Everybody loves it, it's fantastic. So I think that different casters have different styles, and one of the things that's important during the broadcast is meshing with that style and make sure that it's something that they're going to be able to build an interesting story. All the stats and numbers we get from CCG help immensely. Um, they help bring some light to things that might not seem as obvious. He sits in production, he doesn't leave the room, and he tallies things up. I think it's incredible. They give up so much of their free time to help us better understand Rainbow Six Esports. So I think as we've sort of developed the coverage that we give for events, uh, it's definitely become more about uh, building sort of a storyline than just, you know, here's the numbers.